Hello crafters and welcome back to my channel, Touch of Terry DIYs. Today I'll be creating two Hobby Lobby inspired welcome signs. Please help my channel to grow by hitting the subscribe button and clicking that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please give me a thumbs up, comment, and share. The inspiration behind my first project today was this beautiful sunflower welcome to our home sign. In order for me to do my rendition of this sign, I'll be using this canvas that I purchased from the Goodwill for $1. I start by giving the front of the canvas two coats of Waverly white chalk paint and then painting all four sides of the canvas with this black chalkboard paint. I then take a Dollar Tree stencil and one of the Dollar Tree sponges and some more of that white Waverly chalk paint and I stencil in this image all around the sides of the canvas. It was very easy to work with the self-adhesive stencil. It sticks to any surface without you having to tape it down. And it just was very easy to work with and I did like it. So now I'm just gonna continue on around all four sides with the stencil. Once I was done and everything was dry, I did notice that there was a break on each side of uh, the canvas from where I had to lift up the stencil and replace it in order to keep stenciling around the canvas. To fix this I just use a small paintbrush and some more of that white Waverly chalk paint and I just fill it in. Then I noticed there was uh, a line of white paint along the edge of the canvas so I take some more of the black paint and I fill that in. I also noticed that I had a few little uh, imperfections on where the uh, there was a little bit of paint bleed not a lot from the stencil uh, but there were a few imperfections so I did go around and just kind of touch it up just to make it look more finished and this is how it's looking I cut a sunflower image off of my Cricut machine and I put in the middle of it, welcome to our home, and I'm going to be attaching it to the front of the canvas. I did use some of the Dollar Tree uh, clear contact paper as my transfer uh, tape and it worked very well. It, it The uh, image was easy to uh, apply to the canvas and I didn't have any problems with getting the uh, clear contact paper off. It peeled off very easily and it was real easy to work with. Once I was done pulling that off, I didn't like how bright the white looked against the black. So I decided to take some more of that chalkboard paint, that black chalkboard paint and just dry brush it all over the front of the canvas over the image to kind of tone down that bright bright white and it worked it toned it down and I liked it a whole lot better another plus to getting this canvas from the Goodwill uh, it already had four uh, attachments where you can hang this up so that was just a plus and this is the two signs side by side I'll admit that I do like the Hobby Lobby one but I love mine maybe because I made it myself for my second uh, welcome sign I'm going to use this welcome to our patio sign my sign will say welcome to our home though I'll be using these four Dollar Tree plaques in order to recreate that the first thing that I do is I cut the larger plaque down because it was too big for this project. So I take a, uh, a box cutter and I keep scoring the back of it until I'm able to just bend it and break it in half. Then I take a Dollar Tree sanding block and I sand it down until it is smooth. I'm only going to uh, show... Uh, how I did all of the signs, but I'm just going to demonstrate it on this one plaque. But this, the, what I do to this one plaque is what I'm going to do to each one of the signs. 
Each sign will be painted a different color, a different pastel color. This one I'll be painting with the pink ballet slipper. Um, after I've attached my image, my Cricut image, I paint over the entire sign and paint over the letters as well because I want the plaque to be one color, but I want my letters to be white. So once I'm done painting over all of the letters, I'm going to pull up all of the writing or the, the lettering and you'll just see the image of the words. And again, I'm going to do the same thing with all four plaques. They will just be in different colors and they will have different wording. I'll be using a yellow acrylic paint for one of the plaques that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'll be using the pool color in Waverly uh, and the celery color in Waverly uh, for the other plaques. And the Waverly paints I did get from Walmart. And here I'm just pulling up all the lettering and you can see it will appear that the words will be white because I'm pulling up all the lettering. And this, what, this is what it's looking like so far. And this is all of the plaques. You can see the celery green, the pink, the pool blue, and the yellow. The next thing that I'm going to do is I want to give the sign a more weathered look or farmhouse look. So I took some burnt umber with a little dab of black paint and a brush and I'm going to just dry brush all around the edges and across the front of the signs. Then I take the Dollar Tree sanding block and I just sand over it just to continue giving it, giving it a more weathered look. In order to uh, attach all of the plaques, I'm going to use this five gallon uh, paint stick. I painted it brown and then I went over it with a little white Waverly chalk paint and sanded it to give it a kind of weathered look as well. I then put all of the plaques onto the paint stick and measure them out. I did, I thought I had some footage of me putting the embellishments on there, but it was not, that part of the uh, video didn't come out very well, so I don't have uh, footage of me putting on the embellishments, but you'll see how it looks when it's all done. I then hot glue all of the signs to the five gallon paint stick. After I've gotten them all uh, applied and the hot glue has set up, I flip it over and in order to hang it, I use a piece, a piece of jute twine and some popsicle sticks that I glue on for my hook. And this is what they look like side by side. Again, I do like the one from Hobby Lobby, but I do love the one that I made. These are the two signs that I made. Please let me know down in the comments which sign you like the best. I like them both. I think they turned out very, very well. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and 
and give me a thumbs up, comment, and share. Thanks for coming along on this journey with me today and Touch a Terry DIYs, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.